Ladies and gentlemen, you've got a lot of reasons to feel strange today. First of all, Pluto reaches opposition of the sun today at 22 UT time. And, and the moon has just entered Scorpio. So that's a lot of Plutonian energy, bro. You may like Plutonian energy. It is not my favorite. Technically, out of all the planets or non-planets, it's like my least favorite energy. And then the sun continues to be extremely super duper active and kind of sort of freaking out. If you'll remember, when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and people kind of lose their minds. Industrial engineer Arin Kiores letting us know, here's another southwest side flare from the sun. How much is happening on the far side of the sun? Question mark. And the answer is a lot. Right now on the Earth-facing side, we have three sunspots, 2844, 2843, 2842. And they've been super active with a lot of B-class and C-class flares. But the back side of the sun has been super duper freaking out, going crazy. Now, how crazy? Well, we are talking four halo coronal mass ejections in about three and a half days. We just had another one happen hours ago. That was the big one from yesterday. We're about to see the big one from today. And I'm talking BAM. I didn't say BAM long enough to time it out. There it was. And so yeah, the sun continues to wake up. And so be prepared for a pretty crazy 48 hours in my opinion. We've got a pretty big storm headed towards New York City. As I speak, we are on the lookout for dry lightning causing wildfires in the west. We've got tornado warnings for Cameron, New York, Jasper, New York, Troopsburg, New York until 3 p.m. Eastern time. And a large port of the eastern seaboard is under a thunderstorm watch. Pluto's messing me up. Meredith Garefilu, midday update. Ferocious Felicia remains a strong Category 4 hurricane with winds sustained at 145 miles per hour. Now, she's not a threat to anybody but the fish. Hopefully, they're smart enough to, to swing, swim deeper and have that ability. But track continues to have it weakening and well away from Hawaii. We are staying on top of the lightning watch for the West Coast. As you can see, some lightning is starting to spark up a little already. We're getting our main lightning down here, over there, and then some up here. Usually picks up during the day. You've got heavy rain up into the northeast. They have a flood watch going on for a large portion of that area for a lot of populations. And then you'll get more heavy rain in the Carolinas. And then through the south, and you may get some rain into California. Up in the north with more monsoonal rain into Arizona and Nevada. Remember the Disney cartoon dog Pluto? They, you know, they made it seem like Pluto would be a good thing. But no. Plutonian energy is a bad thing, in my opinion. I shouldn't judge. I told you I'm in a weird mood. All right. Here's your danger zones. Up into here. And then over there. And then here's your flood watches. Your flood warnings. And in the pink... And then Monday and Tuesday, the majority of Texas, Oklahoma, and a large portion of the south will have some flash flooding, locally severe thunderstorms, and travel disruptions on top of steaminess. But today, the main threats are flash flooding up in the northeast and then the dry lightning causing wildfires in the west coast of California. The tornadoes are possible, and damaging winds are possible, so... It's Scorchio in the UK for areas. Public Tapel is doing its volcano thing. You got another heat surge coming through Thursday. So, you know, stay cool, my friend. Definitely, for sure. You got the possibility of severe weather up in Canadian country. We're talking about heavy rainfall, strong wind gusts, large hail, and one or two tornadoes. And here's the timing of your lightning fire risk chart. Down here is Saturday. Here is Sunday. Here will be Monday. And then there are Tuesday. Germany and Belgium 
continue to reel and pick up the pieces from one of the worst floods we've seen in a long time. And the wildfire situation continues to be bad and will trend towards worse. Leo fire summer season begins on the 23rd, so definitely look for an uptick in wildfires and explosions starting the 23rd and then running through most of August. All right. And the fire situation is already pretty bad. This was the Tamarack fire from last night. And if you have trouble feeling doom, well, Pluto and Scorpio will be assisting you to help feel those feelings of the next 48 hours. But this too shall pass. This surprised me. Kansas had over 10 inches in Thayer and then sevens in a lot of areas. Shout out to Mikey T, Healing at Home. Shout out to Darlene. Thank y'all all for being awesome. And I promise to cheer up and get in a better mood within the next 48 to 72 hours. All right, everybody have a great weekend. Stay cool, and I'll talk to y'all in the near future. God bless everyone.